Well, tonight an arrest has been made after a road worker was hit and seriously injured on I-90. That crash happened in Westlake early yesterday morning. Our Isabel Lawrence was in court today as the suspect was arraigned. So Isabel, what did we learn about this? Yeah, well, 50-year-old Rolando Rodriguez appeared in Rocky River Municipal Court today, arraigned on two felonies. And a family friend tells us the worker he allegedly hit still has weeks ahead in the hospital. Westlake, please, can I help you? Hey, it's Westcom. We have a person hit by a car on the highway. Just before 2 a.m. Tuesday, worker Richard Simkowski was hit on I-90 westbound in Westlake. The driver nowhere to be found. This is Westlake versus Rolando Rodriguez. Today, Rolando Rodriguez, the alleged driver, appeared in Rocky River Municipal Court for two felonies. One count of vehicular assault, including reckless operation, and a charge pertaining to failure to stop. Westlake police tell me an arrest was made around 5 last night. They used the broken car parts left at the scene and community tips to try to narrow down possible car models. Plus, ODOT cameras, which captured cars traveling in the area. License plate readers in Avon when it was determined the car was heading that direction and help from Avon Lake Police. Police say it's a possibility Rodriguez was driving distracted, but due to the time passed between the crash and arrest, they couldn't run sobriety tests. I'm angry and I'm upset. We spoke to Sarah Neiman, a friend of Simkowski's. She tells us his family has allowed her to speak on the topic as he recovers at Metro Health. Neiman tells us her friend is the kindest person. He has a skull fracture, two broken legs, and internal bleeding, among other injuries. They do not believe that he will be weight-bearing and be able to walk on his legs for a substantial amount of time. Now she has a message for the community about worker safety. These people have family, they have children, they have pets. They have lives outside of their job that they need to return to. Yeah, well, Neiman tells us that her friend doesn't remember everyone who helped him when he was hit, but he wants the chance to say thank you and invites those first responders to say hi. Neiman has set up a GoFundMe for Simkowski as he recovers, and we do have that linked on our website, Christy. Yeah, sounds like a really good man there. Isabel Lawrence in the newsroom for us. Isabel, thank you so much.